What's up everybody, it's Conger Live. We're back again with another TMNT Mutant Madness video. In today's video, we're going over some of the minor changes that I've made to the tier list. This is the summer 2022 tier list. It could also be the very last tier list, but there have been a couple minor changes over the past, what, five or six months. So I figured why not update it this one last time, get a lot of people asking about that. So if you're new to the channel, Ninja kick the like button and subscribe for more content and let's get into it. Okay, so first off, I just want to thank everybody for watching the video. Uh, I am mostly making content for DC Worlds Collide right now, so that's why these Ninja Turtle videos are few and far between. Uh, so you'll notice in the Daimyo tier, we've moved Irma down to Samurai, and I've put Metalhead and Rock and Wrath up into Daimyo. And that is because uh, these stun tunes, this, this four up here, this is like the core... This, these guys do amazing no matter what, even if they're not on mutation. Uh, these are still tunes worth plugging into your team. Um, they, they are by far uh, the strongest with the ability to stun. Um, I've also moved Lotus up into the Samurai tier because she does have a stun. She maneuvers the battlefield a lot, so she stays alive for quite some time. Um, maybe I'm biased because I have her at 5 star, um, but she is pretty amazing. I actually think she's probably better than Shredder. And Krang, um, I have both those guys at five star, and she performs better uh, for me there. Um, moving into the ninja tier, I've actually moved Techno Don up to ninja tier only because of his necessity in the brawl event that happens every four weeks. Um, the reason why I say that is because that brawl event is where you get the biggest rewards in the game uh, when it comes to orange bits. So put some resources into him, even if it's just for that once a month kind of thing that you do, it's definitely worth it. Same with Fugitoid. Um, of course, over there on the left, uh, Mona Lisa is still up there because of that, um, but she's still a great support in all areas. Um, I think that's it for major changes. I moved Wrath up from Foot to Ronin. I couldn't quite justify taking him to Ninja because Raphael actually does perform fairly well when he's on mutation, but outside of mutation, he is still um, basically trash. Um, I don't think anything else has changed in the foot uh, tier. Mutagen Man and Alpha One were the last added heroes. They're both down there based on their performance, viability, haven't really seen anything coming from these guys. No one said great things about them. Everybody always says uh, the skills are broken or they don't do what they're supposed to or whatever. So um, that's that's it. I don't think I've made any other changes to this tier list. Um, so I talked about those. Uh, thank you guys once again for, for watching, supporting the channel. Um, it really, really means a lot because uh, this game has really helped me climb up to the point where I'm about to hit a thousand subs um, and now covering DC Worlds Collide. Um, that's probably going to happen before my birthday. So I uh, just want to thank you guys all for being part of this community and for supporting me this uh, in this journey. Thank you guys again. Can't thank you enough. Uh, Ninja kick the like button. Subscribe for more content, although it's going to be DC Worlds Collide content. And hope to see you in the next video.